Well, yesterday's tragedy came at a time when there is increasing violence among migrants and people smugglers in northern France. And the UK is committed to giving France more than £670 million pounds between 2018 and 2026 in a bid to tackle the migrant crisis. But 402 people crossed the channel yesterday alone. Well, I'm joined now by Peter Allen, who's a journalist based in Paris. Peter, welcome to the show. Incredibly concerning scenes mm. yesterday and reports emerging that um, 50 people were on the dinghy. An extra 62 then rampaged onto the craft, causing it to partially capsize. But the most concerning report we're hearing, Peter, is that the French police simply stood by and did mm. nothing, which, of course, asks the huge cash question, why on earth are we sending millions and millions of pounds to France if nothing is happening to deter these people from coming over? Well, quite modern. There's shock and anger here about what's happened. These uh, incidents have become all too frequent. It was only in January that five migrants died off exactly the same beach near Boulogne-sur-Mer. But what was pr particularly horrific about yesterday is exactly as you say, there was a skirmish beforehand on the beach. The picture I've got of what happened is that there were people, including women and children, on the boat, and uh, suddenly a gang of young men ran down the beach to effectively want to take the place of the women and children and their husbands, for example. And that's where the real trouble started. The uh, police did what they always do over here, which is throw uh, uh, tear gas canisters out. Uh, what that's going to do to stop people jumping onto a boat, I don't know. It didn't work in this case. And on the contrary, there was some very serious violence on the beach. And then once the gang was in the water, the French police withdrew completely and left these young men to get on the boat. And then what did we have? potentially murders, Martin. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking as strongly as that because that's the word that's being used at the moment. These men were absolutely determined to make sure they had a place on that boat and they didn't care who had to come off because they wanted that place. There's a picture after this horrific instance, would you believe, of this boat sailing to Britain with all these young men sitting on the side, punching the air, cheering about what's happened and saying, look, we've got our place. We're on the way to England. And would you believe it, they're being escorted by the French Navy up until the line uh, in the Channel, which uh, de the demarcation line between Britain and uh, French uh, waters. And then the British authorities uh, take, take them on and take them to England. I was speaking to the state prosecutor here yesterday evening, and he suggested that those responsible for this appalling tragedy might well be claiming asylum in Britain today. That could be what happen has happened, although we have heard of these arrests now in Britain, of course, as well, Martin. And Peter, we are seeing pictures on screen now of that rescue mission, of that dinghy coming over towards Dover. And another astonishing point, Peter, is that when the police intervened, when the craft was still quite close to the shore, when this capsize happened and the skirmish occurred, the next thing that happened is that 48 migrants were returned to France. Presumably those are the ones who've been shoved off this dinghy. But 58 simply refused to leave that dinghy, despite what had happened, despite the fatalities. And then, Peter, the French Navy escorted them towards British <coughs> waters. Astonishing when you think we're paying for this. It's astonishing, Martin, and it's utterly macabre. Can you imagine? It was so obviously a crime scene. You say quite rightly that uh, people were taken off the boat and returned to Boulogne. Among those taken off were five dead people, including uh, a young child uh, aged between four and seven. We don't know her full identity at the moment, but aged around uh, that age. Uh, her father fell into the arms of... Um, uh, charity workers when he got to the shore and said, I've not only just seen my daughter dying in front of me, but I've also seen men who've taken her place in the boat, traveling off to England with big smiles on their faces. Can you believe a, a more macabre, horrific situation? And as you say, they were traveling to England with the help of the French authorities and then the British authorities treated just like uh, normal people 
who wanted to get over. No concern at all for the people they'd left behind, the five dead people they'd left behind. Unbelievable scenes, Martin. So, Peter, the scene you're explaining there is not only horrific, but it paints a picture of somebody who's potentially responsible, certainly in the eyes of the father of the girl who died, responsible for that death, who simply sailed into Britain, now in custody. That, the next question is then, can that father give evidence, identify this person? Can we, can we take this case forward? This is an astonishing revelation, Peter Allen. It really is. The whole thing is very, very complicated, Martin. Over here, there is a judicial inquiry into what's happened. A uh, prosecutor in Boulogne has opened an inquiry into manslaughter. That's the charge at the moment. That can be changed. At the moment, it's a charge of manslaughter against people unknown. That means that uh, they will be trying to make arrests over here. There have been some arrests in connection with this incident, but it, we don't know at the moment whether they're alleged uh, people who have carried out manslaughter or they're people who helped launch the boat. We don't know that at the moment. These inquiries can take a very, very long time, anything up to two years sometimes, and they are often become incredibly complicated when they become cross-channel inquiries. The uh, British and the French don't have uh, a great record of working together <clears throat> to bring uh, criminals to justice in this kind of a way. <clears throat> you would hope in a situation like this, when you're dealing with five deaths, things might be speeded up, uh, cooperation might be a lot better. But I wouldn't hold my breath. We've got to see what's going to happen. But as I say, an inquiry has been launched over here, and you would hope that it will be in conjunction with, with the British Martin. Peter Allen, incredible yeah. stuff. Um, a manslaughter case has been launched in France, and perhaps the people responsible for that are now in Britain in custody here because they were simply waved across the channel by the French. Peter Allen, incredible stuff. Thank you so much for joining us on the show from Paris today.